if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that Daddy sometimes likes to put a jelly bean or two on the game for entertainment purposes only. And, of course, this year for the Vikings, betting the money line, which you're betting on the team to win or lose straight up, uh, and then betting the other team when the Vikings are favored so the other team is getting points, it's been a little bit lucrative. It's been perfectly fine. It's uh, playing my, with my money, it's playing with my emotions, pay that man his money. But as the Vikings head into Buffalo on Sunday, there's a lot of questions about what's going on with star quarterback Josh Allen's elbow. Uh, the MVP candidate potentially could miss on Sunday, and it's been doing some weird things uh, to the betting market. So uh, when this game opened, uh, it, it opened as Vikings plus seven and a half. So for, for, for the non-degenerates, for people who do not partake in jelly beans. So uh, the line is if the Vikings win outright or if they lose by eight points or, or well, no, seven points or less, you win because the Vikings got seven and a half points. Woo, it's awesome. And the key numbers are three and seven, which is the most common uh, margin of victory. So if you can get three, uh, three and a half instead of three or seven and a half over seven, it's really big. It, it's monumental, man. Uh, and the money line. So the money line, like we said, is if the team just straight up wins or loses, right? So you're betting on the team to win. Uh, the Vikings open at plus 285. So uh, those odds are if you bet 100 jelly beans uh, and then you would get 200 85 jelly beans back plus your original hundred dollar jelly uh excuse me 100 jelly bean bet uh so the vikings almost getting three to one in that spot which is relatively common for a touchdown plus now on monday when all of a sudden there, there started to be some rumblings about what's going on with josh allen's elbow uh he's got a ucl injury which is uh the tommy john uh requires tommy john surgery in baseball uh, nfl football it's a little bit different and also it's uh, an injury that caused him to miss four games his rookie year People are like, hmm, 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 hmm. So the Vikings, they cross that Rubicon a seven, which is really big. Like generally, books don't like doing that, uh, going from seven and a half to six and a half, unless they have a lot of incentive to do so. And what happened, in all likelihood, is a lot of people saw that the Vikings were plus seven and a half, and on top of the Vikings being seven and one, you know, the, the public's looking at that's like, hmm. So I'm getting a touchdown plus. The Vikings play all these close games. They're playing some good ball right now, and Josh Allen could be diminished if he plays at all on Sunday. I'm taking all that. So they passed the Rubicon. They moved it down to seven. Money line went from uh, 285 jelly beans to plus 240 jelly beans. And then on Tuesday, as we're waiting, because head coach uh, Sean McDermott of the Bills uh, said that on Tuesday morning they were going to get more information about what's going on with Josh Allen's uh, elbow. I'm sure they're going to run through a battery of tests. So, I mean, the, the market's tepid. I mean, the the, park, the market is scurred right now. So, I mean, they dropped down to Minnesota plus six in some places. Uh, a lot of books have already taken this game off the board because generally what happens if there is an injury or some, uh, some other circumstance uh, with a star player up in the air and their availability, uh, some books will just take it off. So, yeah, we, we don't want people getting all, all this nice, nice value, right? But the Vikings money line has now gone down to uh, just a north of two to one in terms of jelly beans. So, I, I think if Josh Allen is ruled out at any point this week, I think this game could become pick em. Uh, so pick him just means pick a side, whatever you go from there, because that's how much Josh Allen is worth. I think that he is worth a, a touchdown plus in this league. I think that there's a, very few players who are like that. I think Josh Allen is one. I think Patrick Mahomes is one. I think Hurts might be one uh, at this point. So we'll see, man. But uh, I... I I, I would have definitely implored people, especially when it opened. I mean, because I, I like the Vikings even straight up. Uh, even if Josh Allen was 100%, I give the Vikings a touchdown plus. Woo! That's right. Plus the money line. Give me all of the jelly beans. Uh, because even though I love me some Case Keenum, he's not Josh Allen. Even though, yes, Case Keenum and Diggs together. It's like a weird rip in the space-time continuum, uh, them squaring off, off against the Vikings, as well as uh, Leslie Frazier in there as well. You know, why not, man? But uh, I think at the end of the day, I'm going to be like Kirk. And then another flight home after a road win. Ah, it's going to be beautiful, man. It's going to be beautiful. But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Tracking the line movement uh, of Vikings' bills as Josh Allen's availability remains up in the air. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But till next time, Skull Production Value.